is such a fascinating project because when has anyone seen stress before? I think we've all experienced stress, but I don't think we've ever really seen it. So I think this was a great opportunity to explore what stress might look like. When we don't manage stress, uh, what can start out as episodic becomes more chronic in nature and in those cases can overwhelm us and lead to uh, several chronic diseases. Well, it's very easy for people to think of it just as an emotional issue, uh, but there are some very real physical signs and so that's why we wanted to help people visualize that. Visualizing stress in the body is something that's completely new, so we had to choreograph a whole new piece of technology. We wanted it to work in real time so that we could show people what effect stress was having on their bodies right there and then. We're using a few different devices. One is uh, something that monitors brain waves. It's like a headband. And with that, we can actually detect the alpha waves and the beta waves in the brain, which are associated with a state of relaxation or a state of stress, respectively. We are using a heart rate sensor. We know that people's heart rates are elevated when they are more stressed. Finally, we have a device that monitors perspiration or sweat, which gives us some indication as well. So we are using really those three different components and then putting them all together in one visualization. The big question was, what does stress in the body look like? We needed to give it an arresting but beautiful look. In the initial phases, we were doing a lot of sketching, looking at a lot of reference of medical data, of heat maps. I think we kind of agreed it was this thing that we all wanted to get under control. So we started to think a lot about things that, that have different states of control, like water or smoke, like fluid thing. Um, water could be calm, but it could also be turbulent or intense. At the same time, we created a unique algorithm that could read the inputs from each medical device and output them in real time in this visual style. So the colors are essentially a sequential heat map from low stress to high stress where blue and green would represent low stress and then purple and orange, yellow would be high stress. In a higher stress individual you'd see a lot more turbulence, a lot more of these sort of flares kind of coming off and a lot more of a misshapen distorted figure and the glowing effect is the galvanic skin response. So if an individual has a high conductance, then it'll set off all these sort of firefly kind of sparks across the figure. Once you see stress differently and can see how it really affects your mind and your body, then you can make a plan to take control. Thank mm -hmm. you.